Hey everyone, I want to show off something a little fun I've been working on as a side project. So this is my isometric Skyrim experience, kind of an isometric ARPG type deal. Um, so, kind of talking about how it works, first of all. You know, obviously the main thing here is the camera angle. What it is, essentially, is just a smooth cam preset I, I've tweaked to allow playing like this. Um, unfortunately, no way currently. Ideally, what I would like is the camera to be locked, like, up at this angle. And then with holding down a hotkey, you could move the camera around, like, like how, um, like, Dragon Age is, for example. But this is what we have, it's what we have to deal with. But I still think it's fun, and it, and it, and it works pretty well. Um, other than that, uh, MCO to kind of give it that, you know, ARPG feel. Some loot mods to spice things up. Um, I think the best way to show it off, go into a god mode testing purposes, and take on some some enemies and see how it goes. Okay, and now that hockey is messed, messed up, so I gotta fix that. My dodge key is bound to the same as quick magic. Bad. There we go. So yeah, I, I have free control over the camera. Um, obviously Skyrim was not meant to be played like this, so it can be a little awkward. Um, sometimes with the collision camera and stuff like that, um, getting messed up. So obviously I'm in god mode here, so ignore the fact that I'm just eating hits. And I gotta fix my, my true HUD settings. What do I want here? Yeah, turn off targets for mouse, mouse movement, because I think that's annoying. So yeah, this is, you know, kind of the, the typical combat angle right here. Um, it, uh, expanded enemy populations, I want this to be very, like, hack and slashy, sort of. I don't want to necessarily use the word power fantasy, that's kind of, that's like an overused term, it's kind of, it doesn't really mean much, but not far from it um the, the thing is though this is built off of how i built this was just forking my other list i was working on moon shadow so it has a ton of like regular rpg elements and stuff Oops, I powered that one, actually. um you you're, you would like in like a regular skyrim list like quest expansions dialogue expansions roleplay immersion stuff it has all that that's kind of secondary but it is there so you can still kind of play it as like a you know, I, I use I use Dragon Age as an example where it's you know still a full-on RPG with roleplay, character development, story elements, but mixed with this sort of combat style. Um, so I'll talk about the loot here now. You might have saw a little bit. Um, what's a, who else a good example? Yeah. So you see, loot can be broken up common. In magical are the two tiers we have here it goes common magical um, like rare exotic legendary or something this is the, the typical system with like slightly different names um, so yeah you can find just like basic enchanted stuff on people with these cool mixes of enchantments block more damage deal more damage one-handed take that um, but then you, you saw over here with this guy just some regular stuff so not everything is gonna be enchanted um, oops, I don't actually have a one-handed weapon, that's awkward. But it'll, it'll keep you on your toes, keep you looting. Always looking for the next piece of gear. Just like Diablo. The sword does no damage. So yeah, I mean, this is just a really quick preview of this. Um... I, I, I kind of I want to get some ideas, some feedback. What you think will work with a list like this? It's pretty interesting, obviously, to play Skyrim like this. Um, lots of things to consider. A lot of variables that I probably have missed. Um, but yeah, overall, it's just like hack and slash combat, but in regular old Skyrim RPG land. There's no um, alterations to the actual, like, story, 
roleplay immersion side of things. And then, so for interiors, I'll talk about interiors, because that's a bit of an awkward spot. What's my activate hockey? Okay. And yeah, you could play the list in first person if you're if you're weird for whatever reason. But yeah, so I go into the first person here. The way it works, you have to disable the collision camera basically to get a decent experience outside, um, or else you'll, you're, the camera will constantly be like jut jutting out, twitching all over the place, like bouncing between collision objects. So what I have set up currently is when you go into interiors, the press of a hotkey, you can just switch over to a regular old um, third person preset. I think this is just like a default smooth cam preset, so it's a lot more playable. Um, you know, there's still no collision camera, but as far as I know, you know, haven't seen a mod to dynamically enable it, disable it based on collision, or based on interior exterior. So, this is the next best thing. I think it works pretty well. I mean, you're still getting. The, you know, the same experience overall, just at a more comfortable camera angle in interiors, and, you know, there's still the weirdness with coming out of the walls over here. That's the side effects of turning the game into something it's not. Bending Skyrim at the knee, forcing it to be Diablo, basically. It's gonna have its, uh, its downsides. How do I go back outside? Um, cause so, at the same time, obviously the, the isometric camera angle is kind of the main idea, but if you wanted to just play it, regular old MCO, third person combat style, you, you totally could. It would be boring, and I would judge you. I think it's fun to play like this. Um, so yeah, combat's not meant to be like this realistic, gritty, requiem experience. It's just mindless sort of hack and slash to be honest um i'll show off some magic cool combat i don't have any spells that's awkward range combat let me find a um a bow there we go so yeah using true directional movements target lock range combat totally viable still um but yeah even just you know, as I use the term mindless, as, as the combat is, there's still the fun of regular Skyrim, you know, magic, whatever build you want to do. You can still, you still have all that character building, so you can do like a, an illusion, battle mage, whatever, and just still spice up combat that way. And then also the loot kind of keeps it going. We can actually go back through and loot, because there's you know all sorts of different combinations of enchantments and gear and stuff like that which will you'll be always be changing how you do things they're changing at least what you're wearing like oh i just got th four different gear pieces with four to five sneak attacks let's kind of focus on sneak for a bit and it'll be a pretty dynamic like that which i think will end up making up for the the lack of I don't necessarily want to say lack of variation in Skyrim's combat, but, I mean, you've all played it. You know how it goes. So, yeah, that's a very quick showcase of this. Um, there's a ton of other tweaks and random things I've had to make to get this semi-playable. Um, but as it is, I don't have LOD generated or anything, by the way. That's why it looks bad. But, you yeah, know, I mean, as it is, I think it's, it's totally playable and it's a fun different experience so you know let me get, let me know if you guys have any ideas of mods you think fit um things that need improvement obviously there's a lot that needs improvement but things that are actually able to be improved um yeah let me know um curious to see your guys' thoughts obviously this is a very weird um unorthodox thing but I think it'll be it'll it'll be a fun switch up for a lot of people. So yeah, that's it. Um, let me know if you have any thoughts. I might do some more update videos on this if I make some big changes. If not, I'll probably release it. You know, obviously with the big disclaimer of it's gonna be a little janky at times. But yeah, that's it.